What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix an incredibly annoying issue with the brand new release of Dead Island 2 on Steam after a year on Epic Games. I'll quickly show you exactly what I mean. If I head across to Steam here and fire up the game, you'll see something very annoying happens, and that's when we get to the intro and skip through it, we'll eventually get to a screen like this, skip it, and now we get an Epic Online Services could not be found error. Why is this happening and how do we fix it? Well, essentially, I think the developers of Dead Island 2 are shipping an outdated version of the Epic Online Services. There's only one real way to fix that, and that's to update it. So, in order to do so, hit start, type in settings and open up your settings app, then head across to apps on the far left, followed by installed apps, and in here we'll be searching for the Epic and we'll look for the Epic Online Services. This is version 2040 and the one that ships with the game at the time of recording this video. We want to click the three dots and uninstall this. If you're using Windows 10 or something else, you may need to go into the control panel, then programs and features. Once again, you'll be searching for, so I'll click anywhere and type Epic. We'll be looking for the Epic Online Services. Once again, double click it and we'll uninstall this completely. I'll use the settings window here. So uninstall, uninstall. We'll click yes when prompted for admin and we'll wait for this to finish. Now, unfortunately, this is the broken, outdated version that ships with the game and the only way to update this is to download another version from another source. In the future, this may be fixed and they have the correct version shipping with the game, I assume, and when they do, you can right-click the game in Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files, and in here, you'll be able to head into the Epic Online Services folder and install this, but this is the outdated version. Instead, if you have the Epic Games Launcher installed, then congratulations, the fix is going to be super easy for you. Open up a new file browser, head into C Drive, followed by Program Files x86, then Epic Games, and inside of here, Launcher, followed by Portal, then Extras, and in here, you'll find EOS. This is the Epic Online Services. This installer here is updated, and it should fix your issues. So, running this, clicking Yes, we'll wait for this installation to complete. Now, this only really works if you have the Epic Games app installed, and of course, you've opened it relatively recently, so this Epic Online Services installer should be updated. I've launched up Epic Games over the past few days to install Fortnite, and it downloaded the latest version of the Epic Online Services. Now that I've updated this, if I have a look at settings and refresh, you'll see it's version 2.6.1. This is way far ahead of a version shipping with the game, and if we decide to fire up the game in Steam, you'll see that now things should pretty much be fixed. So once again, we'll click through the opening scenes here, all the way to the very end as such, and now we can actually get to the main menu. If you haven't launched up the game before, you'll be prompted to link your account with Epic Games if you so have one, and just after that, you'll be on the main menu. This is cool. But it doesn't really solve the issue of why are they shipping an outdated version of the Epic Online Services, and it automatically installs when you run the game for the first time, so it actually got rid of the updated version that Fortnite and things like that had installed to install an older version that was broken, at least in my case, and I'm only assuming all of this. But anyways, you now know how to fix it. That's the simplest way of doing it. Now, can you actually download the Epic Online Services without needing to install Epic Games? Well, actually, no, I don't think you can. Googling and finding the official help document from Epic Games, the only way that it seems like you can install the Epic Online Services is by opening the Epic Games Launcher. So you're kind of out of luck here. If you like using Steam and only Steam, you've been waiting for this release. Well, unfortunately, it seems like you may need to install Epic Games anyway to fix this. And in order to launch it, you probably need an Epic Games account too. Anyways, if you haven't got it installed, in the description down below, you'll find a link to download the Epic Games Launcher. Click Download for Windows over here. Once it's done, click through the installer, and eventually, when it finishes, launch it up, sign in, and it should hopefully update the Epic Online Services. Otherwise, once again, when it's done, navigate across to C, Program Files 86, Epic Games, Launcher, Portal, Extras, EOS, and run the Epic Online Services MSI installer. So that's super annoying, especially for a brand new release, to Steam at least. They've had a year to cook this game, and unfortunately, it seems like it came out with an EOS that was a year old, I assume. 
volume. Now, if you've tried to update the EOS and things are still broken, what else can we try? Well, simply make sure that the service isn't actually disabled in Windows. To do so, hit start and type in services where we'll be opening services here. It may come up as services.msc or something like that. Open this. Now, inside of here, we'll click anywhere and type in Epic. We'll be looking for Epic Online Services. Right-click this, choose Properties, and in here, make sure that the startup type is set to Manual. This is the default. It's not supposed to be running all the time. And in fact, if you start it, it'll eventually close itself anyways. So manual and that should fix your issue especially if it was set to disabled meaning it's not allowed to start at all setting it to manual apply okay and firing up the game I thought everything was closed, but anyway, firing up the game, things should hopefully be working properly for you now. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. It's super annoying that a game can release in this state, especially when it's a big game or a big title. And there are, of course, going to be tons of people looking for a solution, as I was. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.